This is a right upper extremity arterial duplex in a patient with limb swelling post AV graft placement. In this first image, we can see the arterial anastomosis with flow in the brachial artery, the anastomosis, and within the graft body. Just above the graft in the image, we can see this area of low-level echoes, which may indicate hematoma after graft placement. Here, patency of the brachial artery is demonstrated with spectral Doppler. And in a normal brachial artery, we would expect to see resistant triphasic flow in any peripheral artery. However, after AV access placement, it's normal to find this turbulent, low resistance type waveform with high velocities. We can see that the velocity here is 276 centimeters per second. And we should expect to find a similar flow pattern and velocity throughout the graft. Here closer to the anastomosis we again see the turbulent low resistance flow and at the anastomosis as well. Here's the brachial artery again prior to the anastomosis and at the proximal graft. Throughout the graft we can see the same flow pattern demonstrated with velocities in a similar range. And at the outflow of the graft, which considering this is a loop graft is likely the brachial vein. We can see flow here from the graft into the vein. And again with the same flow pattern. Venous outflow again is turbulent and the velocities start to decrease a bit, but we still have a low resistance pulsatile flow pattern in the vein, which is expected with an AVM. At this point, the sonographer has completed the general portion of the graft exam. However, they've gone back to reevaluate the area that was noted on the first image, and we can see that here we have the brachial artery and the graft anastomosis with what they're calling a mass in between and some measurements of this mass, 2.4 by 1.3 centimeters. And we'll evaluate this throughout. There's no color flow identified, although we do find flow in the artery and in the graft. And we'll just continue with various angles of the same mass to demonstrate it from all angles to establish if it's a vascularized or avascular. We do not find any flow within the mass. It's more than likely a hematoma with a patent AV graft.